is popping squad it's your boy just and today we have ourselves an updated tactician's authority bill for the people who want to use a hybrid dps you can definitely formulate this bill differently if you do different mods but i'm kind of going to show you the dps version of this so that you don't have to ask anymore you know what i'm saying i got you guys so let's get it you guys see off tops 307 firepower 535 toughness and 204 skill power I will be using Barrett's in this version, and the reason is is I don't really like the six-piece bonus. Uh, it's too hard to try to wait for 60 stacks and then pop your skill. If anything, um, you're popping your skill more than any other build, so it, it kind of like goes against your build trying to wait to pop it. it. You might as well not even have skill haste if that's the case um, because you're going to try to get 60 stacks, and you're going to put yourself in a position where you have the ADS, and it can get yourself burnt, you know what I'm saying? So bear chest and the reason i chose bear chest over refresh mask or over savage is because i get a lot of benefits from bear chest um being how this build works so i'm using a house with vicious deadly and coward counter pretty much same house i've been using you see i have a pretty good base damage 17.2 23 percent crit chance fully optimized um going into the bear chest it's not fully optimized i'm working on it i got a, another shield to do and i'll probably have it mid max but i have skill ace and health you want to make sure you have to have skill ace on your chest to make this build work the way it's supposed to um, roll for stamina um, a lot of people are gonna ask uh, well you know you can run vigorous you can run vigorous but I for a skill haste build um, I rather run over uh, overdose only because I get a bigger chunk of health being that you know yes I get damage but that kind of compensates with the bear's chest and that kind of get like my fix um, I rather get big heals than damage so yeah, that's exactly why I run Barrett's instead of Vigorous. Going to Tactician Authority Mask, Skill Power. Um, you can run Crit Chance if you want a little more damage. I, I rather go Skill Power route because if I do run Pulse on this build, it's it's, it's going to be useless at that point because I'm getting uh, max Crit Chance anyways. Uh, if you decide that, especially if you have Pulse Critical Hit Chance mods, you don't really need First Aid Self Heal, but it's still a thing if you want to, you know, let's say you want to get a mid-max Pulse, especially when you need to 30 stack. Um, you can definitely roll Crit Chance on here if you want to, I guess, uh, have that before that pulse but it's pretty much useless if you're in an attack build so i chose skill power on this going to my knee pads i have health rolled um you can do let's say let's say you want to be a little bit more risky you do get bigger heals the less health you have technically because uh the smaller your health pool the bigger your heals are because it catches up to the number it kind of balances out so if you want to do a little bit more damage you can easily roll crit uh, crit damage right here and still stay over 500k which is what i recommend um especially since you don't have the nomads buff of proccing and you don't have the striker heal all the time so if you want to have some more damage get crit chance right here if you want to be the safe side and kind of have a lot more survivability roll health um i have firearms health Blind death resistance disrupt increase kill XP. I mean that's all preference. <clears throat> and as you can see, um, I might as well explain while I'm here. 15% skill haste for two piece, 10% skill power for set three. Tactician authority obviously. Um, it's like striker stacks except even if you miss, they stay there. Um, you you can really use this to your advantage if you're running support station. Um, get 30 stack, then put the support station down. Then you kind of have like a mini reclaimer and. Uh, it works really, really good to support your teammates. So make sure you you, you get those stacks and 5% skill ace and skill power as well. Um, I do run a first aid self heal on there. I want to have maximum self sustain with this build since it is a DPS hybrid. Going into my Tactician's Authority Pack, roll for stamina, health, bleed resistance, and I also have two first aid self heals and I have electronics with skill haste. This is where I have to start specking in, as you can see right here. I also have one skill haste, being that I have it on my chest piece and on my gloves right here. Um, I don't, I I have I still have room to be able to put one let's see two three so I can have three mods that aren't skill haste so I can get whatever I want depending so I have electronics with health right here I have uh, um, electronics with health right here as well and I also have a stamina with health so I don't need to run um, skill haste on my mods to achieve max skill haste because I have it on my gloves because I have it on my chest and because I have it with the five piece or the the two piece and the five piece. So it, it bounces out perfectly and you're able to do a lot of cool things with it. Um, going to my gloves, as you can see, just like I said, electronics, crit damage, SMG damage, and skill haste. Um, this is the best way to run it if you're going to go for skill haste. Don't give up crit, jam uh, crit damage or SMG damage. Crit chance is useless. Um, in this regard especially if you're running the pulse version because you're going to get it anyway so you might as well get that crit damage and that smg damage and my holster also has skill haste rolled on it so let's say you wanted it to have a decent 
Oh, I'm not going to say decent. A way above average skill haste compared to the other builds. Anyways, you can roll health right here and be even more tanky, but I don't recommend this because the whole thing is you want to be able to get as close to your overheal as possible, especially if you're running two heals. So you don't want to have way too much toughness because it's too hard to heal through it. Um, and that pretty much signifies the build. My secondary, obviously, is always going to be my health gun. Um, predatory, self-preserve, and sustain. This is really, really good. Finish off your NPCs with this. Get your health up so you have that health over time. Your predatory, plus you're going to have, uh, obviously, your amazing um, skill cooldowns, period. So going into my character sheet, so you can see real quick, crit chance at 35% before a pulse. Critical hit damage at 110, headshot at 62. Um, enemy armor damage is at zero. My skill haste, you can see, is at a solid 50%, the highest you can get in the game at this current state. Um, and it makes a dramatic difference, I promise you. Um, going to my abilities, you can see how much I heal myself for 217k. And, and mind this, this does apply with the ability that the Barrage does. It does give you 10% when your skills are not on cooldown, which means your first pop is a supercharged version. So if you double this up um, by having no skills on cooldown plus your stacks, you're basically getting a, a huge buff compared to whether or not um, you have your stacks or your skill on cooldown. So make sure you are on the lookout for that. And also, I mean, obviously, when you pop one skill, um, you get a damage increase, and if you pop two skills, you get your armor increase. So no matter what situation you're in, um, it's really, really good. Most of the time, you're going to be on the damage um, because you get your support station back really fast. And if you're running pulse, it's amazing because if you pop just the pulse, you're going to get that damage increase plus the pulse damage increase, and you'll be doing some crazy damage, you know what I'm saying? So um, that's exactly why I think Barrett's is the best piece uh, to fit in with this. You can also do short pose if you want to be a troll, but if you want to do the optimal way, in my opinion, um, being that tactician is my favorite build of all time, I think this is the best way to run it. So, yeah. Uh, going into my health, once again, I heal myself for 217. That is a big amount of heal check your regular heals and your regular build you can see the big difference and um support station obviously i get my 33 percent um pop because it gives you a third of your health and my cooldown is definitely low compared to most as you can see usually it'll be 38 seconds but because of my 50 percent scale haste i'm at 14.60 percent which is nothing in a gunfight um and being that I have my med kit to rely on and I have a 22 second cooldown on this, I'm pretty much healed up all the time. And if you want to go even lower, you get an 18 second heal. Let's say you want to be a support. Uh, you can easily switch to defib. It'll work just as good. You still get a 120 uh, self heal, which is around the same that the other builds get, period. But you'll be able to revive your teammates and you get it every 18 seconds. And your booster shot, if you want to be right in the middle, take off two seconds, 20 second cooldown for your booster shot. Um, that's amazing. So pretty much that's it, you guys, for the server shutdown.